Hi guys, hope you're well. I just got the notification that my TV wrap up is now here. I use the app TV Time to track the movies and the shows that I watch. And let's see what 2023, my 2023 rewind is all about. First show tracked in 2023, The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. Okay, by the way, it was last week where we got the finale for the new season. <laughs> These women work this season. Oh my god. If you know, you know. So I'm so excited about the reunion and all that stuff. The fact that people were like, oh, I don't know what's going to go after. Um, like Jen is gone and all that stuff. But Monica, it's her first season and she managed to what? <laughs> hey, hey, like, Enter Galactic, first movie. I don't really watch movies, I prefer watching TV shows. And honestly, this movie was really great. I love the animation. Kikadi's album for the movie was great. And in the thing that I would love to do something like that, and collaborate if I heard that Kikari might do something similar uh, to this movie for another but like another project and if I don't know the universe would somehow make me part of this new project somehow I don't know what the timeline is but I would love to be part of it when it comes to the animation or just the creative process of the music yeah Biggest binge, yes, yes. I think that I'm a grandma at heart. And honestly, I remember my friend uh, putting up uh, something on her story saying, Get More Girls is like for the teens, Gossip Girls for the early 20s, and This for Housewives is like for the 40s. And I was like, yes, yes. I. But I watched This for Housewives before watching Gossip Girl. And so love, I love this. I think, and the thing is, my favorite character in the This Real Housewife is Brie, which ideology and politically wise, we are nothing alike. But that character, I love, I love Brie. And then I think my second favorite would be Lynn, then Gabrielle, and <sighs> Miss Susan. Ugh. After season like one and two, I was like, just. It's like, you're, you need to go. But she's like the main housewives, bref. But despite that, I love the show. Okay, 1,167 episodes track, 51 episodes rated. I don't really rate on TV time. I think I just watch it and unless something was like, oh, that was so great or oh, that was so bad, then I'll rate, but yeah. Nine movies track, three movies rated. See, this this is what I'm talking about. 812 total hours spent watching shows and movies. Ooh. October was the month with the most tracked shows and movies. What did I watch in October like that? Damn. 30 badges earned. Okay, great. Okay, most watched shows. This one house was the yes. A scandal, yes. I would watch Grey's Anatomy and um, How to Get Away with Murder. And it... I, I I knew like schedule also was part of the world, but I, I never really got into it. I remember watching the the crossover episode in How to Get Away with Murder. It was like, ooh, I know. So watching it back, well, I mean watching Scandal now and seeing freaking Alice Keating, just like ah, so that's nice. It's Gossip Girl, Gossip Girl. I'm not a fan. <laughs> These kids are so annoying. If, okay, just like Lynn's kid in Desperate Housewife made me not want to have kids. These kids in Gossip Girl, I just like, these, ugh, they're so ungrateful, they're so, they're just, just brats. And what makes you laugh is that people, when people are telling you to watch Gossip Girl, and they're like, Chuck is so amazing, he's so amazing. Literally the first season, he was two steps, two toms, two toes away from going to jail. So I'm like, how these people love Chuck? I don't understand. He did have some character development, but I think out of all the main kids, he's like the only one that has character development somehow. Serena, I'm so sorry, Serena has nothing to do in her life. 
uh, what's her name Blair she's always mean I don't know why that okay she did have some like but when she's like okay there's potential and then she's going back she reminds me of Gabriella in Desperate Housewife like she has that same like energy and then sometimes there are moments where she's learning and then she's going back to her old self and I'm just like hi apply the lessons that you learn apply the lessons that you learn uh, what's his name Dan no yeah Dan Humphrey Nathan I really hope that Nathan was like my favorite and at first he was my favorite but then he just started having like those mommy issues and again and again and again and again and I said sir just go to therapy because no Jenny was my favorite but then she just left the show and I saw a clip of a podcast that she did with uh, with Penn Badgley, the actress. I, I understand why she loved because she wanted to pursue music, so I'm all about that. But yeah, Vanessa, Vanessa was oh my god, the plot with like the fake cousin. Oh son of shit. Like ugh, it went on for too, way too long. And there were so many plot holes. And also, did it all graduate uni? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, Empire, yes! And the thing is, Empire was really good, and then, it's just, the last, let's not talk about the last season. If I might have heard, the last season was made during the whole scandal, we know, we know what happened. But from what I've, I've seen, uh, I've seen online someone say that, uh, what's it called? They had a, a, a specific plot coming in, and then they had to change because the actor, and so, the way that they changed the whole storyline for season three, the last season, was just... I was so disappointed because there were so many plot holes and all that stuff. Yeah. And the songs in the, the show are really good. So I'm like, drip, job, drip, 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 job, drip, job. Or it's like, bang, 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 oh yeah. The songs were good, the songs were good. Oh, and the first song, uh, in season one, episode one. Okay, bro, I can't even see. What show is this? Okay, so I can tab actually. Ugly Betty, yes, Ugly Betty was such a fun show to watch. I had this phase of watching old shows and all that stuff. Okay, that show had character development. Amanda had character development. Was it Marcus? His name, the gay, the the friend, the gay friend. Marcus. I, I want to say Marcus, but I'm I'm pretty sure it's Marcus. He had some character development, so I'm really happy. Yeah, like the, all of the characters had the ugly. Uh, well, I say ugly Betty. Betty herself had character development. Her sister, I love her sister. Tilda, is it Tilda? I don't remember the. Ugh. Okay, great. Yeah. Uh, and honestly, okay, here's the thing. I understand that this show was like early 2000, 2010, but now, and this is a PSA for any creators who's doing shows now. If there's a guy and a girl. They can be friends. They don't have to be something romantic. Please. For the life of me, please. Stop. And I like the ending. Yeah, I really do. Like, it was a good show. Oh my god. Here's the thing. Betty and Joe? Okay. But Betty and Harry? But then Harry had this... Mm -mm. So, you know. Okay, number six, Jojo. Here's the thing. Do you know how... I, I watch animes here and there. And my brother... My little brother, he said, I'm gonna watch, watch Jojo, watch Jojo. I'm like, okay, sure, fine, great. So I'm watching Jojo. And I watched the last part, which is in the in the prison. <sighs> I had a feeling that someone was going to die. So I asked my brother, hey, please tell me who's going to die. So I don't have to get too attached. And my brother said, no, keep watching the show. It's good, it's good. I know it's good, but just tell me who's going to die because I have a feeling that someone's going to die. I'm not talking to my brother anymore about this fucking show because he's so rude. He. <sighs> okay, number seven, Abbott Elementary. And the new season is coming up soon, so. Oh my god. Oh, it's so. It's such a wholesome show. So you can have other wholesome. Ted Lasso. <laughs> Do you know what? I think it was great that they only did three seasons because. You know there are shows like Empire, it was good, and then it's just something like... Shh. Same thing, I want to say also Desperate Housewives, I think at some point it just got a bit too long. But yeah. And it, oh, here's the thing too, people are starting on TV time, people were like, Oh my god, I shipped Ted and Hannah. I was like, 
is it Hannah? Hannah is the name of the actress. They were like, oh shit, them two. I'm like, no, stop, stop. Stop, they're just friends. I want them to remain friends. Shh. Only murders in the building. Also, great show. It's so funny. And then Grey's Anatomy. At this point, I don't even remember what happened. Oh, wait, I don't remember. At, at, oh, yeah. I just hope the show is almost done. I've heard some people say, oh, I stopped, I stopped watching the show after this person left the, the show. I'm like, oh, I understand. But I, I really want to see the evolution. Oh my god, also Maggie just got unbearable to watch. <laughs> I, I just remember that or... I, I need... Okay, Amelia, I just need to take Amelia and just... Get her some sense. I can show her life. I think she's... I don't think she's distracted, but I'm just like... I don't. Oh, oh my God! I, another example about friends being remaining friends. Freaking Joe and freaking. Ah, I actually don't like because I'm just tired of seeing it again. Oh, gang, gang girl, they're friends, and then she didn't want it for some time. I just like care. It's like oh, I like you too. No, I don't care. Just oh, just you can just be friends. And who else bothered me? Actually, it was good to see Addison in the back again. Yay! I really did like that. Top genre, drama, comedy. Hey, speaking of comedy, Toucan Birdie. I love the Apparently, they're, they're stuck. They apparently, got cancelled. That That's not good. And from what I've heard online, apparently, the creator of the show was ready to like share more stories. And then, somehow, it just got cancelled. Don't do this. Bring the show back, please. I need the show. It's so, it's just so funny. It's like cool. Uh, told you. Okay, Olivia Pope is can in scandal. Okay, yes. But then the last season, the la the at the last season, I was just like, girl, what is wrong with you? Who hurt you like that? I, I mean, you, your mom and your dad, but yeah. The first fifth, the first five seasons. Hey, I was like, okay, boss bitch. Mm hmm. Breathe and. I told you guys, Brie is my favorite character in House the Desperate Housewives, yes. Melly Grant. Yeah, okay. Melly Grant? At first it's like, ugh. Okay, like she's very and then she got she was like, you know what? I know my self-worth. And let me show it to the world. And I was like, oh, okay, great, amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Uh Monica. Now, with the lot, okay, I, I see so much discourse about, oh, I don't want to spoil it to you guys. Okay, I'll just say, people were, people are saying, oh, I'm more on Heather's side, and oh, I'm more on Monica's side. I need to hear the full story, because on the last episode, the finale, people were just young at Monica, I was like, I need to hear her story, please, please. In a sense, I do understand Heather being so frustrated that of what happened. At the same, on the same side, I understand why Monica. I understand the fact that Monica said that Heather and the other girls were just collateral damage, and that her main goal was to essentially. I don't say take down. I don't like the the phrase take down someone else, but I understand why she wanted to like bring what happened with Jen. I want to know. I think I want to know if earlier this season they had to bring back the the concept of what happened, and then would Monica have said back then? Oh, by the way, because I feel like Monica is not is the type of person she won't say anything un unless she's being asked. Yeah, I say that, but at the same time, when we f were first introduced to her, she said, "By the way, I did this, that, 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 that." So she already had like she already put all of her well, not all of her secrets out there. Hmm. So that makes me think that obviously production told her to keep her mouth shut because. They, you cannot be like, oh, we didn't know. They always do background checks, okay? They always do. And I think they were like, okay, you can do everything. However, keep that big fat secret of yours until the end. But yeah. And now I don't think it's helping her. Because now with the reunion, well, just with everything that happened, I don't think there's like... It, I don't think we have we'll see her next season. I would love to because she her energy well just her alone as a housewife, I really do I really do enjoy her story. 
Now, sometimes how she interacts with other women, I'm just like, e okay, <laughs> we could we could work on some stuff. But other than that, she's she's a great housewife, and her first season, like that's iconic. So if earlier this season they were like, oh, something happened around with us, and would would she have then said? Oh, I actually know what happened. I actually know the backstory, and I'll tell you guys, expose everything. You know, yeah. But here's the thing: I'm pretty sure that. And I'm gonna stop you right there. So I've only watched the first part of the reunion, and literally, you could see the sense of, you could see the tension, because Monica would address, but the women around her which felt very uncomfortable and I know they're gonna leave it all to part three when the whole thing is going to happen and from what I've heard there's an investigation against Monica happening at the moment so we won't have all the details and I when I filmed this I said oh Monica might stay another season but I don't think that's going to be true if they if we were to see her again it would probably be as a friend but i don't know whose friend is she at this moment so yeah now from people have said that monica has been fired i don't know but for her first season the, the way that she managed to salvage this season and make like i was hooked not only her personal storyline but also how she interacted with the other women. Wow. I'm not saying like the women on the shore are boring. It's just that they, they definitely needed someone new to shake things up. So I think if Monica is not here next season, they should bring two other people. Angie, I like Angie. But I, to be honest, I don't hate the, the women individually. It's just as a group. I need a bit more because Salt Lake City is a good franchise. It's, it's I don't know if it's underrated, but it, I'm I'm not Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills is not doing the thing. It's not doing its thing right now. So Salt Lake City is the perfect alternative. And yeah, I'm just if Monica's not back, they really do need two new people that have strong personalities strong personalities just like monica but now we're gonna we might have to see these housewives really coming in very calculated and be like you know what i'm going to like i know her agenda so i'm going to like try to do this and do that but if i don't know but i don't know okay. and hug 752 that's all i'm going to say but then again then i'm just like hug Honestly, Huck is such a supporting friend. And that was it. Okay, perfect. So, honestly, do I have shows that we want to watch in 2024? I don't know. Yeah, that was really fun. I, I was pretty sure that Big Bang Theory was 2023. Or maybe it was 2022. See, I, I don't really... But tw Big Bang Theory, when I watched it, 2022 or 2023, I think it was 2022. Okay. It was so funny. There, you know, there's just shows that maybe it wasn't right for you by then, but when you're watching it now, you're like, hey, you're good. So yeah, same thing happened with Bojack Horseman. At first, I watched the first episode, I was like, mm. and then I watched it, I think, one year after, or two years, and I was like, wow, one of the best shows. I'm also watching this because yesterday, or the day before, there was the Golden Globes, so everything's coming. It's like, it's literally, what's it called? gala season i'm essentially done editing for the first part but i want to take a little quick fire shot of the series that i've watched in 2023 that i've really enjoyed or some that i've really hated so Jane georgia mm. took everybody i really want something to like a revival gossip girl the reboot I actually gossip girl the reboot now that i've watched gossip girl the original the reboot most people were more bearable. Blink Fire, okay, no. Ted Lasso, love. Working Moms. Mm. And also, it's a Canadian show, so. So they get this and this. 
great show so funny so nice and this year i've started this new show called children ruin everything which is also a canadian show and it gives the same vibe as working moms it's just it's a nice show oh canadian shows are really really good okay so what else have i watched desperate housewives yes the Barry yes never however i'm happy it ended but it was, i think it, it was a very average show for me uh okay black mirror yeah that season did not no disenchantment they finally ended the the series and you know what it was really well done selling the oc oh my god i was not expecting that i've watched i stopped watching what's it called selling sunset and selling the oc i also did the the is it tempa i'm not sure but selling the oc okay okay gossip girl don't talk to me about this sex education i did not like the last season too many it was a new environment too many new characters however i think the aspect that i really did enjoy was the postpartum discussions honestly i've never been pregnant and i don't plan on being pregnant anytime soon but just the relationship about the mom and she wants to work and pursue her professional stuff but she just had a baby and feeling guilty i really do enjoy that yeah deep fake love oh my god that's a spanish show and it's uh, or, oh my god i'm happy it was just one season beckham i really did enjoy beckham i've i grew up watching soccer with my dad all the time and just i i do like those docuseries where netflix goes m deeper with the story of a I don't know an ex athlete and all that stuff. I really do enjoy that, and also, and I really I don't want to like put that into the universe, but the relationship between Victoria and Beckham is really wholesome, and I really do enjoy this. I mean, if they're looking for another kid to adopt in the UK, me, Lupin was nice. Big Mouth, I'm actually tired. I think I've reached my my limit. The first season was so what. But I was like, no, let me continue to watch now. It's just fucking disgusting. <laughs> no, thank you. Big Veep. It's like the docuseries around Jewel. Informative. Okay, the new cast of The Real House of New York. Yeah, it's great. I see th that's the thing. Some of the w most of the women in The Real House don't. I don't. It's not like I hate them. It's not like I, that I love them. But it's just as a group, sometimes it just doesn't work. And honestly, I think they should have kept just two OG housewives, Sonia and someone else, and made that just uh, what's like a seamless transition with, yeah. Morning show. Now, here's the thing. Mr. Billionaire who tried to get with Alex. First of all, ew. Well, it's not ew, um, but just <sighs> Alex is an icon. She's smart. She knows what she wants. And we love that we respect her bradley <laughs> since season one i really don't care about bradley i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry stella mia now okay corey corey is a good villain and now that everything is doing its thing i'm rooting for him I don't want I don't I don't want to see Corey go. I'm sorry. I need him here. Okay, lesson Lessons in Chemistry. That was my one of my latest finds of 2023. Hey. This is too wholesome. And 6:30. That poor this this little dog. Oh, so cute. Scandal we talked about it. The crown. Okay. They finally ended the crown and I'm really happy how the last season turned out. It's essentially back with the essence of the first season where we really have this focus on the queen. Because so, let me tell you something, I don't care about William, I don't care about Kate. Let they, I'm just happy they're living the best life right now, good for them, but I don't care. I really don't care. The queen and just her with her family, her with Tony Blair at, the, at that time just her doing running the country i guess if that what she was doing rest in peace um 
but yeah i really do i really did enjoy this and people were, i know people online were saying oh why they why didn't could wait what why couldn't they do that when there was princess diana princess diana had such an impact they just they had to focus season three and four on her they did they had to this woman was everywhere and the fact that we're still talking about her matin midi soir like breakfast for breakfast lunch and dinner years after her passing is just shows you how incredible she is of course they going they had to do two seasons just just her princess diana featuring the others that's that's what it was but honestly the last two seasons i'm really and i really i think my favorite episode in the last season was um the flashback between princess margaret and the queen elizabeth I, I really do like that one and also okay also there's another thing people didn't like the fact that charles was had a redemption arc and honestly the best way that they could do it was to show how we we because at this point i don't care about him and camilla i don't care i don't care I really do enjoy the scenes where he's really being a father and just trying to do his best because yes I don't know these people like I really don't know these people but yes Princess Diana and and now the King Charles were not got divorced but he still from what I see he's really still respected Diana as a mother and the fact that the two boys lost their mom at such a young age he was not like, okay, well, peace out, I am just going to be with it. No, he still had a duty to do as a father. And I really did enjoy the scenes between, what's his name? Like I just said it, William and and Charles. And yeah, I'm, I'm happy for that redemption arc. I also want to talk about Philip, the, well, the, I was going to the ex-king, the late King Philip that also played a really strong supporting role when it comes to guiding his wife, the queen, or guiding Charles, guiding his grandchildren. I really do enjoy Philip as a as a supporting role. Now here's the thing, and I don't know if I'm tripping or it was just what they did, but did Philip have the same clothes over and over and over again? If that's his uniform, then great, good for you. But if he, I don't know. Because I swear in like all the scenes he just had that same suit and tie. Same color, same shape, same everything. I oh d did I miss something? But like I said, if it does that's his uniform part to you, man. Yeah. Okay, Harry, people were not happy with how they portrayed Harry in the last season, and I understand, but at the same time the conversations between Harry and William could not have been made with the little Harry and William that they had before. So when Harry was saying, yeah, but everyone likes, no one likes a, a redhead or something. You're, you're so lovable around the public. These things suit him well right now. But I don't know, I, don't, I think they could have done a better job at casting or from if I remember correctly, I think Harry didn't have his hair all like smoothed out. I think it was like more. I think if they had done their hair a bit more accurately, um, maybe it could have helped more. But yeah, yes, I'm happy with that. Okay, Potomac, the House of Potomac. I really did enjoy the first seasons, but I think right now, I'm just like yeah, uh oh, eh, uh 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 oh. Uh. Okay, what else? Mob Cycle 100. I just started this anime with my brother. It's really nice. And yeah, um, it's not like Jojo right now, from what I'm understanding. But yeah. And the last show that I want to talk about is Archer because they have finally ended the show and it feels right because it, it, I understand why they would end the show. The One of the main characters. The actress passed passed away a couple years ago, I'm gonna say. So it feels right to just do one last season, and I really did enjoy it because it had that essence of the first seasons of Archer, which is just 
yeah it's really amazing now here's the thing and i want to check before i say that but when i watched archer so for the last season there are nine episodes tell me why netflix only had eight episodes so how am i supposed to actually finish the show if you're not giving me the last season the last episode i i know it's going to be good so just give it to me rude 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 let me do the movies intergalactic great like then it was just like luckiest girl alive sure sex appeal that was just that was my last movie of 2023 and i was just like what am i watching okay fair play okay zootopia sure why not asterix monster versus alien it was just you know get back on that nostalgia the, the documentary of selena gomez sure now here's the thing i did watch barbie but not in theaters i watched it i'm not gonna say how because but essentially and i think this might be an unpopular opinion but the plot did not affect me like i've seen it online and i've had the same discussions with my circle of friends and family that have also watched the movie a lot of them said it's not the plot is not spectacular i really didn't the soundtrack is amazing charlie xx khalid ava max a lot of the people the, like the songs are great now plot wise i think they could have just done it without i don't know i actually don't know i'm not a a screen writer i'm not a film writer I'm not a director, so. But I think I think it could be nice to hear if there was like another path of how she could have done it, how Greta could have done the movie, just on the aesthetic point of view. Phenomenal. That's these are the things. I think it's just the plot in itself where I'm just not. It's just not clicking for me, and also when people say that they've cried and they've talked to their mothers and all of that stuff i think it's great that they have that this was their medium the reminder that you know just how i don't know like the relationship between women is really important the the female friendship that you have the relationship that you have with the mother if it's a non-toxic relationship obviously and i'm really happy some people was like it was their okay this is important and you can be anything just you know you don't limit yourself because you're a woman i i uh, that's a great that's a great speech it's just that i've already heard that speech before so me hearing it again it that it didn't it didn't affect me but that i that but that i'm not saying that it's it's a bad it's i'm not saying that it's bad i'm just saying that it didn't affect me and i'm happy that other people got the message and that it affected them in a, such a positive way also america is so she's so good with speeches i saw her do her speech at it was a golden globes and also i don't say emmys but i'm i don't think it's emmys i think it's like the Crit critics choice awards or both i don't know one or the other or just both because I, hopefully both but she knows how to give a speech and i'm happy that they chose her when she did when they did when they did her dialogue she's a great actress to do that also also like because i watch Auntie betty now i yeah it's just it makes sense they did a good casting honestly yeah i'm i'm not mad about that so that was my 2023 Honestly, I have nothing fun for 2024. I just go with the flow. And yeah. So I hope you like the video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.